Now I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how to set up your mist system. When you're going to buy a mist system, you've got to understand that you have to look at your patio, get your linear footage from one end to the other, and that's what you want to miss. That's what's called the misting system. So if you have a 50-foot patio on two sides, you have 25 on one side, you have to put a T on it, 25 on the other, and terminate it. That's your mist system, 50 feet. You always want to run the perimeter on the outside. You never want to put mist on the inside of a patio. You can alter it and put a few nozzles on the inside, but you don't want to run mist down the center of a patio or inside a patio. You'll get wet. That's a problem. You want it to flash, evaporate, and cool. So you want to always do the perimeter of the patios. So once you determine the size of system you want, you can get on our site. There's some easy drop downs on the site that will show you stainless steel, nylon, copper tubing, enclosed pump, unenclosed pump, 300 PSI, 1000 PSI, 150 PSI, and you can make your determination of what you want then. Once you get that, everything will come in a kit. You'll have a roll of tubing, which is your nylon tubing. You're going to get your stainless steel, say it's a stainless steel system. You're going to get all your elbows, your screws, your anchors, everything you need. It's a done kit. If there is any extras you need, you probably should get on the phone with me and we'll figure out what it is you might need for your particular application. But your normal application is your nylon tubing from your pump system up the wall to the system that you're going to have. That's your mist system. You can go up the wall in stainless steel on a stainless steel system. We give you a blank stainless steel that you can go up the wall and then tie it into your regular stainless steel misting to go around your patio. You'll have elbows like this, which is pretty much just cut the steel. Your steel is going to be cut with a good pipe cutter. I like rigid. You can get them at Home Depot. Um, and then you can just put your stainless steel in there, get your wrenches, tighten this crush sleeve, and you're great. Put your other piece of stainless steel on here, measure it out, put it in, extend it, and so on. We give you pieces to, actually everything pretty much comes with stainless steel now, so you will have all your elbows, all your unions, all your fittings now be stainless steel on all the kits, and you just keep adding to it and cutting where you need to. It's pretty simple, it's not too hard at all. We give you anchors to go into stucco, screws if you need to, to go into wood, all that comes with the kit. All of your color coordinated clamps, whatever steel you decide to use. On nylon, same thing. You gotta run nylon from the pump system like we talked about earlier. You go up the wall, you go to your mist system. Let's say it's gonna be with an elbow. So we'd use the same elbow here that you're using on the nylon right here. So on this right here, just gonna put it on here. Tighten it really, really tight. Go to your nylon tubing. On your nylon tubing, we normally space every 24 inches. You've got your nozzle tees like this right here. You pretty much just go 24 inches, put it on, clamp it, get your next 24 inches, put the same fitting on, and so on and so forth. At the end, you'll have a termination fitting, or you'll have a plug like this that you can go to the end if you ever want to extend it again. It's pretty much that simple. You clamp it on. When you turn your system on, don't have any nozzles in the system at all. You always want to run it free, run it clean. Start at the very first nozzle, start putting your nozzles in all the way to the end one. It's going to blow like crazy at the end. Shut your system down after you flushed it thoroughly, put your last nozzle in, and it should be fine. Check for any leaks, and uh, you're ready to go. Your pump system's automatically set at 1,000 pounds, so it'll go there, or 300 pounds, or 150, and um, you don't have no adjustments whatsoever. Just check for leaks that simple. We like to have all of our mist going out about a 45 degree angle, but you, you, can, you can play with that. You can determine what you need as far as your angle. You can always call, you can always send me pictures and we'll go through it ourselves. Um, that's it. So it's that simple. Um, we're going to go through some more videos tomorrow, which will have some jobs that are a little bit more complicated that we're going to show you. Thank you.